What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk about SoFi. I want to talk on, especially with only six trading days before their upcoming earnings, I'm going to go through absolutely everything you need to know coming from an investor standpoint. I'm also going to talk on whether I feel right now is a good time to buy in or if wait till after the earnings. But before getting to any of that, you guys know the deal. Smash your thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships. Link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With all that said, let's get right to it. So as you can see on the ticker from Friday, it was down 6.49% with 59.9 million shares being traded, whereas the average is 37. So there has been a lot of higher than average volume. So that is key at the end of the day. And, and that's been like that for the last several weeks. As far as block volume, currently 8.8 .8 million shares being purchased by institutions and hedge funds on Friday. So a lot of institutions are definitely getting in. I'm gonna elaborate on that as well. And looking at the top, you can see all the major indexes are for the most part very much red especially more so the futures so anticipating that there's a lot of fear I'm going to touch on that as well but when it comes down to the earnings there's a lot of anticipation and right now you can see March 1st 2022 after market close so this is going to be a very big deal especially considering their guidance and looking at the earnings per share it is anticipated to be negative 16 cents so in case you don't know about upcoming earnings or anything like that mostly a lot of investors only look for three different things earnings per share revenue and future guidance right now when it comes down to this specific earnings it is their future guidance that is what everyone is going to be paying attention to especially what they're going to be doing with their charter and them being an actual chartered bank now that is a very big deal very big catalyst so i'm going to go through several different things but regardless of all that i do anticipate getting closer to march 1st as far as their earnings date i do anticipate a little bit more momentum as far as the price goes and in combination of that i do anticipate a lot of shorts close closing out the positions. So with that, I'm just gonna go and give you an update on the short information. 1874 is the short information as of right now, pretty stagnant from one week prior. So 1874 is still relatively high given all the news and circumstances of SoFi. This is why there's been so much volume in SoFi and a lot of institutions as well have been backing up the bus. Utilization is 97.25 and, and so basically that means that 97.25% of the available shares too short are currently out. So that is why given all the circumstances, especially a little bit more of a momentum leading up to their earnings. I do anticipate there being a good catalyst and a lot of momentum. So a lot of shorts will close out the position because of that. So that is some background when it comes down to that. And there is a lot of good information, especially coming from their previous earnings. So based on their last earnings, their balance sheet highlights, it was $730 million in total cash equivalents and short-term investments and $609 million in long-term investments, whereas debt is $3.01 billion. So this is why I do strongly feel even given in a higher interest rate environment SoFi is going to do very well and hopefully within the next year or two will eliminate majority of their debt so that is very optimistic again that is going to come from their future guidance and so like I said and what you can tell based on the futures there's a lot of fear in the market mostly because of the Russia Ukraine tensions but there is some optimism so you can see right here President Biden has agreed in principle to a French proposal to meet Vladimir Putin as long as Russia does not invade Ukraine so that does give a little bit more optimism, but unfortunately, based on the futures, it doesn't look like there's much optimism when it comes down to that. So it will ultimately have to wait and see. And I do like this post because this post specifically does bring up reasons why majority of which Russia won't attack Ukraine. Again, thinking that this is a big overreaction and a great buying opportunity. So that is one thing as well I'm going to talk about whether right now is a good time to buy into SoFi or not. So looking here, so not ready to for a plausible reason not ready to suffer the multi-trillion dollar consequences of devastating a nation that took 77 years to rebuild and not ready to destroy the Russian economy and not ready for a coup. So there is a lot of optimism when it comes to this, reading this as well. So I do strongly anticipate that Russia will not invade and that this is going to be a big bounce and a big reversal because given all the circumstances in the market and all the articles that are out, all the growth stocks, more specifically as well, SoFi, have already interest rates factored into that. So when I do strongly feel the only reason why we're going down is because of Russia, this is an overreaction. Especially reading this, there's a lot of reasons that Russia will not attack. In addition to that, Ross Gerber did have a nice bullish post. So for real, people are in panic mode over 1.5 rates from the feds and Russia, Ukraine, which have been fighting for generations. US economy is taking off and evaluations finally make some sense. So good reason why you need to buy in because of that. 
So ultimately, I do strongly feel a lot of institutions are going to be backing up the bus this week specifically on SoFi, as should you. Definitely watch a stock and there is going to be a lot of volatility because of the rush attentions and you can even see based on the Nasdaq as well, it is all over the place. Especially once the Russians do actually say that they will not be invading, that would cause a very big bullish rally on the broad market. So that is very optimistic. And like I said, a lot of institutions are going to be getting in and I'm just going to go through the new round of 13 Fs that came down the pipeline. So a lot of new institutions have been getting into SoFi and you can even see right here the big names as well. So Goldman Sachs did actually increase 905%. So right now they have 1.1 million shares of SoFi. In addition to that, a lot of other big names. So Deutsche Bank as well, 2000% increase with 2.7 million shares. So a lot of big names are getting into SoFi. And one thing as well I do want to bring to your attention, in case you do not know, I'm another big fan of Lucid. And looking at Goldman Sachs, they actually have calls on SoFi. So right now, Goldman Sachs has shares and calls. Whereas technically on a lot of other growth stocks, like I said with Lucid, Goldman Sachs has been increasing their position on actual shares, but they have puts. So the fact that they have calls on SoFi is very optimistic and bullish. In addition to that, even if you look at a lot of these institutions as far as their average cost, so 1932, 1812, a lot of institutions are technically at a loss because they did see a lot of value at a lot of these prices. So that is very optimistic at the end of the day because at $18.12, does look like Deutsche Bank did find sufficient value to actually increase their position 2000%. And so given that we are currently at $11.39, that is absolutely insane. That's a huge buying opportunity. And this is why 8 million shares were purchased on Friday alone. And that has been a very common thing. So a lot of institutions are definitely getting in. And just keeping in line with institutions and hedge funds, I just want to show you this. This is updated information as of Q4 2021. Hedge funds purchased 3.5 million call options of SoFi. Definitely shows that there's a lot of long-term optimism when it comes down to SoFi. And also it does look like all 13F filers right here purchased 27.5 million call options. So that is up 14% from the quarter prior. So there is a lot of optimism. Like I said, a lot of people are having high hopes when it comes down to SoFi. And more specifically, there is a lot of hopes riding on their upcoming earnings. So even more reason why you need to buy. So like I said, I'm going to talk on whether right now is a great time to buy in or not. So like I said, especially with the fears of Russia, it's going to cause a lot of volatility. So if it does actually dip any further than this, I'm going to say this is a great buying opportunity on SoFi because I do anticipate post earnings this easily getting to $15, $16 is definitely where it should be. But also keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence at the end of the day. With all that though, let me know your thoughts on SoFi in the comments below. If you haven't already, smash the thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff greatly appreciate that if you do like my channel and support the growth take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen with all that said let's all make a lot of money on sofi